So let me begin by first of all introducing a gentleman who is very important to this effort. One of our state lawmakers who is committed to preserving traditional families and traditional marriage. He is the leader of the Utah Senate, the president of the Utah Senate, ladies and gentlemen, State Senator Wayne Niederhauser. Thank you, Rod. Wow, what a, a turnout here tonight, and what a great thing. I'm going to just give you a little bit of a legislative perspective on this. There's a lot of personal reasons why I support marriage between uh, a man and a woman, but uh, we have a jurisdictional issue here. For over a hundred years that we've been a state and over 200 years plus as a country, the jurisdiction to decide marriage issues have been in the state. And in 2004, the people of this state spoke out and we enacted Amendment 3. Thank you. And I support the voice of the people along with my own feelings about what marriage is and, and the traditional marriage that I believe in. And so I believe also that when we decide to change that definition, that ought to be done here in the state of Utah. and not by a federal judge. So the legislature is, legislature's committed Along, I, along with the, the executive branch, branch and our AG to vigorously defend our jurisdiction that we've had for many, many years, to defend that right up to the Supreme Court. And so uh, we're not sure what will, will happen this year with the, uh, our appeal to the Tenth Circuit Court, uh, but we're committed to see this through and defend that jurisdiction. I appreciate you being here tonight.